Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on unabouttrainings.com. Our today's topic is to build a end-to-end Fiori application with OData v4 on SAP Business Application Studio in Cloud Platform. We will be learning Fiori annotations and seeing how to build a application out of the box using Fiori elements, list report type in Business Application Studio. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. So let's get started. So I have already built a ODS service over here with cloud application programming model. And let me just show you, it's a pretty simple service, which is showing some demo data of all the purchase orders. So I've got here a ODS service, which actually shows you the list of purchase order, the bunch of purchase orders into the system. Let me just show the response with of kind of two purchase orders. So here we have got multiple records like purchase order, purchase order ID, the purchase order number, the life cycle status of the purchase order, whether it is new or it is delivered or it's blocked. Then we have the, the gross amount, net amount and tax amount. Now, this is all the data we have right now in our database. So what we're going to do now is going to build a application on top of it. So this, this particular tutorial focus on more of a Fury application development. But if you want detailed training on CAPM and business technology platform with Business Application Studio, join our training on SAP BTP with anubautrainings.com. So let's now create a Fury application here and I will switch over to BAS, which is our preferred development tool. So here is where I have got an F folder and I will just start creating a Fury application here in the F folder. So we switch over to view, find command, and we search here Fury application development so we switch over here to generate a fury application open application generator and this launches a, a beautiful wizard to create our fury application remember right now as of may uh, 2021 uh, right now the v4 support is only there for limited support for overview pages and full support for list report application with odata v4 so that's why we are going to use a list report fury element application I select and say next. Now it's time to select my data source. So we have already created a CAPM based service here. So that's why I'm going to choose a CAP project. And here I'm going to enter my CAP project path, which is going to connect to my local service in CAP project. So I will choose my CAPM tutorial project. And now my order service, which I have right now three services one for showing CDS view based services, then one for custom implementation, one for catalog service, which is my main service. I'll choose that and I'll say next. And now it's time to choose our entity set. So we will select here purchase orders entity set and we can additionally add navigation to items. I click on next. We can give a module name here, for example, Anubhav PO, and let's give a application title as anubhavtrainings.com. And we can add a namespace for our app, anubhav.app. And now we can just add additional configuration to our application. For example, I want to add a Fury Launchpad sandbox. And I want to also add advanced options uh, to configure, uh, let's say, Dark Fury theme. And also, yes, just choose these options to uh, connect to telemetry. Click on Next. And let's end uh, the semantic object and actions for creating our Launchpad sandbox. So let's say Purchase Order and say Manage and i will say manage purchase order and finally the subtitle is anubhav trainings okay let's finish and you will see in a second the fury application has been generated out of the box fantastic so now what next we're going to do is we are just going to go back and test this so when you when you run the test once again you would see a additional endpoint has been created here. And if I click on this endpoint, it's gonna read all the annotations which we have added. The first thing it launches a Fury sandbox with the dark theme. 
and I've, if I click on my application, you would see the application loads here. Wow. Now, if you click on the go button, you can see all the data here. Wow, that's amazing. And you can see I'm also added annotations for loading the icons and statuses, which is what is coming. We've also added I18 text already in our CAPM model, so all the labels are perfectly coming. You also get out of the box sorting and searching capabilities. Plus, you can export the data to Excel sheet. This is the advantage of using Fury Element. You can also add and remove certain columns and reorder them depending on your need. Your end users can do this. There is also a detailed search capability which is available where you can perhaps maybe go ahead and search a particular purchase order. For example, this one and it will basically look forward for that particular object into the system. Then we also have recently implemented our action. If you see in my last video on implementing action on CAPM services, it's integrated here as a button for every line item in Fury Element. And if I just go ahead and click, you would see this amount will be incremented by 20,000 bucks. So right now it's 23913. Let me boost and search again. And now see it has been increased to 43,000. So that's an amazing feature of integrating our actions. Now we have also got the drill down capability. So if you select a purchase order, it takes you to the next screen where it shows a Anubo Trainings logo. And you can see that header information of your purchase order. Now, along with each purchase order, you can see also its corresponding line items. That's where you also get the capability to download this to an Excel sheet out of the box. I select a particular line item and then it drills down to the level three where you can see all the details of the line item, including the product information which is being sold in this line item. Wow. You can share this to an email or you can save it as a tile, this particular view on your Launchpad sandbox. Now, if I switch over back, I can also navigate back to the home page. And this is where I would like to now showcase you a, another interesting feature of Business Application Studio. Suppose my manager wants this application to be converted to a, um, a flexible column layout now. It's very simple with latest tooling in Business Application Studio. So we switch over back to SAP Business Application Studio and right click on our web app folder and we choose here an option to open the application in a page map. And this is where you're gonna get, get the graphical view of entire application navigation. And maybe if I just switch over to list report and I click and then I have an option to choose whether I wanna switch over to a flexible column layout. I would say yes, please go ahead. And I wanted to keep it default setting and apply. At the same time, maybe I wanted to also go back to the table and I wanted to load by default my table at the beginning itself without user clicking search button. At the same time, let me make my selection mode to single selection mode for my table and all the settings are getting saved by default. Remember, I have already started CDS watch command, which is constantly watching my changes into the system and my changes would have already applied. I'll switch over back to our Fury application and refresh over here. And this time you will observe that the search in the list will be triggered out of the box. Wow, that's superb. And now if you just select one item, it's gonna launch your detail screen. Nice. And this time you can see it's a flexible column layout out of the box. That's interesting with Business Application Studio. And now I can go to line items and select one of the line item and that loads my line item detail. So it's a split screen layout into three parts and that's the benefit of using new flexible column layout. Now I can also expand one particular section into full screen mode. I can switch over to the old mode. I can expand the areas. I can also just go ahead and close one particular section. Yes, and can come back to my original state as well. So you have full flexibility with flexible column layout in the system. The best part about this layout, which I like the most is the device mode. So you can switch over to a mobile device now and see how our application is gonna look like in an iPhone. So that's the best part of flexible column layout. It adapts your application 
according to the mobile device and tablets nicely so let's go ahead and run this now in a mobile in an iphone and if i select an i uh, purchase order then i can also see all the purchase order details as well as the line items let's drill down to the level three and there you go i am in the level three where i can see more information about my line items if you want to learn how did i build this end-to-end -end application including data model services or data services v2 and application along with all the uh, nitties and gritties of icons and buttons and data actions and custom handlers and generic handlers and cloud application programming model along with the basics of node.js and business application studio you can subscribe our course on sap btp on anubavtrainings.com so let's switch over back and perhaps i wanted to see this in a ipad preview and that's how it looks like in a in a landscape mode in an ipad nice yes let's go back and let's select one of the order did you notice that my selection mode has changed from a multi-select to a single select now that's super cool and what a look of latest sap fury 3 dark theme it looks very good especially in the low light and, and, and high light areas. So you can enjoy working with SAP Fury user experience with Fury Dark Theme. So I hope you enjoyed this session of building our first application, Fury application using SAP Business Application Studio. Multiple concepts are included. And to reach to this level itself, you've got to learn a lot of concepts in SAP Business Technology Platform. I hope to see you joining my course on SAP BDB. Thanks for watching this video. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Have a nice day and goodbye.